For centuries, people have been fascinated with our history and where we originate from. Longstone Local History Group is an organisation within the Peak District that focuses on local history of that area. I'm Anne Hall, Chairman of the Longstone Local History Group. The group's been running for about 20 years and in that time, members have carried out a number of research projects. Um, one of the first projects was uh, looking at and recording the memorials in the village church. Uh, the, the group also developed a village walking trail explaining the history and more recently we've carried out an excavation at Fincop, a local scheduled monument. Longstone Local History Group was formed in 1989 by Stephen Penny. He taught a successful course on the local history of Great Longstone and encouraged local research projects. Stephen Penny went on to develop the group into something more permanent and started monthly meetings in 1991, which to this day are still held on every third Thursday of the month. I'm Hilary Clark, Secretary of Longstone Local History Group. The group was formed after during the 1980s, we had a series of lectures uh, by Stephen Penny, who was associated with the Workers' Education Association, and his first lectures were on local roads and trackways, and then we started looking at local maps and identifying fields, and he suggested that we started our own Longston Local History Group. One of our first projects was to record all the uh, gravestone inscriptions in the churchyard and we did this over a period of two years. This memorial is to Dorothy Bennett and she was killed when crossing the railway at Longston Station <coughs> and she was aged 76 years and it happened in 1884 and this was erected as a tribute to her memory and this stone is erected by several ladies who valued her service as a faithful and judicious nurse. In the midst of life we are in death. This stone was erected in testimony of the conduct of the above named John Woodhouse. He was presented with a valuable silver watch bearing the following inscription. To John Woodhouse from the ladies of the neighbourhood in testimony of their admiration of his conduct in singly and forcefully defending the lives of the Mrs Needham of Rodale against the robbers who broke into their house on the night of the 10th of December 1820. This stone is in a remote corner of the new churchyard and we wondered why it was placed here but the significant thing is that it has got a crucifix on it and um, one of the people that were buried here were a member of the Order of St Francis of Assisi which all suggests uh, Roman Catholicism but there is a Roman Catholic churchyard in Hassop so why the gravestone is here, I do not really know. Longstone Local History Group research into the history of Great Longstone. This includes the area, the monuments, the buildings and the people who have lived in Longstone. Uh, anybody can come and get involved in the Local History Group. Um, if it doesn't matter whether you're in Great Longston or not, but if you've got an enthusiasm for finding out more, you're very welcome to come along. Uh, we ask you to pay a subscription and then you're able to come along to uh, eight evening meetings during the winter, three summer outings to visit a local feature, and then one uh, full day's outing further afield. Uh, the FinCop project was very exciting. The members had uh, recognised that there was this monument that nobody knew anything about um, and so we managed to get lottery funding to involve a local archaeologist to support us and uh, we had two seasons of digging up at Fincop. We involved um, the local school children, they came up both years, and also um, local students 
uh, who wanted to do work experience in archaeology came up. But also there were a large number of people from uh, th who wanted to dig, dig and get experience and find out a little bit more. So we had a large number of people on site. About 500 people came to the excavation in the end. Finn Cop. It was believed to be uh, an Iron Age hill fort, but nobody had been able to prove that. And during the excavations, we were able to show that there was an enormous deep ditch and behind it, a great big wall made of stone, which had protected a community up on the hillside. So we were looking at the hill fort after it had been destroyed. And it turned out that the wall had been thrown into the ditch. So we were excavating the stones out of the ditch and in amongst all the stones, we found a number of bodies. At the time, it was very moving and we were all a bit um, nervous and uh, excited at the same time we were finding more out about the hill fort. But um, some of the bones were actually very small and so we realised that we were excavating uh, babies and children as well as adult bones. When they were um, looked at after the excavation, it turned out that we got nine bodies, um, three females, and all the rest were children and babies. So, in fact, the ditch had been filled, as far as we can see, with only the women and children, and there were no men on site. It was um, really great fun on site. We had a large number of people there. Um, the children from Lady Manners, uh, the students from Lady Manners came up and um, helped us with excavating and really got tuck, tucked in. I mean, we needed great big hairy people to take big boulders out of the ditch and that was great that they were able to help us. And we also had a team from uh, the local youth group who uh, came and uh, made a DVD and they did some reenacting and they've got a, produced the most fantastic um, DVD that you can see on the website. Uh, a number of the members have got their own projects and are very very interested in history and we have attracted um, one or two younger people to come and uh, work with us uh, because they have uh, developed an interest in in history during the time that they were um, preparing for university. Uh, I became interested in the Longston Local History Group because they had such interesting meetings about local historical topics and this, it, you never knew what was going to happen when you came to a meeting. We also went on very, very interesting uh, evening meetings. For instance, we're going to look at the developments at Carver Weir later on th th this season. Um, so it was a way of getting really involved with, with archaeology uh, and history on my doorstep. Thank you.